Hey guys, I need to show you my outfit of the day. Can you see it? Can you see my outfit? It is so cute. Isn't it beautiful? It's a green dress. I think it's green. With little floral, little empire waist here. I just love it. I love it. I got it at Sheen. Um, I really love that website. Highly recommend. Although, you need to read the reviews and do not get express shipping. If you get express shipping, you will get dinged with duties at the door. I never did. Like, this is if you're in Canada. I never did, but I read a lot of reviews and everyone was like, do not do express shipping. It doesn't get there any quicker and you get dinged with duties at the door. So I'm like, okay. So you just hit regular shipping, read the reviews because people on there are so honest. You can trust the Sheen reviews. People will say, this is actually not at all like the picture because Sheen is very hit or miss. So read the reviews. Uh, so the reviews on this dress was really good. And the girl, there was a few girls who had pictures of it. And in the ad of the dress, it looked really short. So I wasn't gonna get it because I don't like wearing really short shorts or short dresses. Um, but then when I seen it on the girl, it wasn't short. So I was like, okay, so I ordered it. And also you can get an order from Sheen and literally have things in the order a size small and have things that you've ordered that are like a four, three, four X because the sizing literally means nothing. <laughs> like you have to go by the measurements of the garment because I think this is a one X, but it definitely fits like a large. Do you know what I mean? So like if I, like I would think this would be a large, but it's a 1X, but then I got something else there that's a medium. So you just have to like know your measurements and then go by that because it, oh, I love Sheen. This clothes are so freaking cheap and they're so cute. Like this, this material is really nice. It does not feel cheap at all. It's really cool. So it'll be nice because today's going to be so hot. Um, but yeah, it has these little sleeves, which I love the little V-neck. The Empire Waist. Oh, I love it. I love it. So, sorry I haven't been around the last few days, guys. As I said, I've been struggling with PMS. Like, I, I, I've been really going through it with that. So, I just was, like, staying off the internet. But um, I'm feeling much better now. And I have some plans today with my mom and my sister. It's going to be a good day. I'm going to get somewhat ready. I'm not going to well, maybe I will. My eyes have been getting closed shut. I know this is so gross. Closed shut in the morning, which ha that hasn't happened to me since I was a kid. I used to get that a lot, like, because we grew up with cats. And I used to, I don't know if it had anything to do with the cats or not, but, like, I would always get, like, my eyes. Well, I always had problems with my eyes. Anyway, but this is, pr I was going to throw this out the other day and I didn't. So maybe I'll just use this and then throw it out because... I want to have some sort of eye makeup on. I don't know. Within the last few days, this came in the mail. I got these little blush sticks um, from Sephora. They're little cream blushes. I've seen Sherry um, haul them, and I was like, "Oh, I really want. I really like using cream makeup in the summer. Actually, kind of in general, like." I don't know. It's weird. Aging is weird. It is really weird. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, literally the stuff I used to wear or like makeup wise and stuff like that I used to love. Like, I just, I don't know. I can't do it anymore. I got a free sample of Marc Jacobs. It smells really pretty. It smells like fruit roll-ups. It's Marc Jacobs. Oh, perfect by Marc Jacobs. I love it so much. I'm already, it's pretty much gone. So today, I always, I always go for this one, Salsa. I'm helping my mom pick out uh, glasses. She needs new glasses, new frames. So I'm going with her. She works tonight. Her last day of work is Wednesday, next Wednesday, and then she's retired. So excited for her. 
Did I get anything else new that I wanted to show you? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, bronzer, but. So yeah, we're going to look for new glasses for her. And then we're gonna take her to Leonard's cause she never gets to go with my sister and I because she's working all the time. Laundry's done. So we're gonna take her there. I, I've been doing the curly girl method with my hair, but I didn't. The last time I washed it, I didn't do it. But you guys, my hair is going so freaking curly. It is so pretty. And I've kind of, like, when I want my hair to go curly, I've always kind of done the steps of Curly Girl Method. But I've never done the t-shirt part where you put your hair up in a t-shirt, not a towel. I can't believe the difference that makes. That's like night and day. Anyways, I'll talk more about that at another time once I have the method down pat and I'll share with you guys what what works for me. This mascara is like pretty well done. Ugh. Anyways, I'll see you as maybe when I'm with mom. Mom's coming for lunch with us for the first time. Lots of construction though. Cheers, Leonard's. I got the soup and sandwich. But look at my sister's. She got the special. It's like a chicken parm <laughs> It's potato and leek soup. Mm. The soup's delicious. Imagine I did a whole more. <laughs> <laughs> we're, there. Yeah. Mm, we're getting iced coffee from McDonald's. Dollar drink days. Thank you. Iced coffee is like my new favorite thing. I'm just on this iced coffee train. What? It's yummy. McDonald's has a good one. Their caramel iced coffee is delicious and it's only a dollar. At least you like something that dumb. Um, why I usually don't like cheap things? No, you need to play something that caution. Like Starbucks? Thank you. I do like the Starbucks uh, cold brew. Oh, it's so good. Do you want to try it? I had a good morning with my sister and my mom. Mom picked out really cute glasses. I'll show them to you guys once they arrive, if you guys are interested, but they're so cute. And I got my sister a birthday gift because her birthday is coming up soon. It's in July. And I'm so glad to get that done. It's something she really wanted and it's so cute. I'll show you guys eventually if she lets me. But what else? Oh, the kids are in school. The kids go to school here until next Monday. But... I'm not sending them on Monday because it's, I don't know, going to school for one day. I'm like, you guys can just stay home. Like, So Friday is going to be the last day of school for my kids. And I'm so excited. I'm so ready to get out of the school routine and into our summer routine, which is no routine. We really don't have a routine in the summer. We're moving out to the campground. I'm not sure if we're going to move out Sunday night or... Monday, but we're moving out to the campground like within the next week. We're going to be moving out there for the summer, so that will be nice. We have a lot of fun, exciting things coming up, and we are allowed to leave the island June 27th, I think, because during COVID, we haven't been able to come off the go off the island and you couldn't get on the island we've been kind of just our borders have been shut so we're opening up which is exciting so we have some family coming home who we haven't seen in a long time and that's exciting and then we're going we're planning on going to um new brunswick and nova scotia over the summer and i'm just I'm very excited, very, very excited to be able to make 
little tiny travel plans like that. I mean, it's not far, but it counts. It's still, it's still going away. <laughs> and eventually, not this year, but next year, like 2022, we're trying to figure out what we want to do with the kids, like on like an actual trip. So I don't know. We're kind of, I, I think we are definitely going away 2023, but um, we're thinking about 2022 for some sort of vacation with the kids. We're not sure exactly what we're doing yet or anything like that, but we've been kind of putting that in our heads. So I can't even tell you how nice it's been to, well, you guys get it. You guys are in it too. You guys are in the pandemic too, but how nice it is to be able to look forward to something like that. It's so nice to be able to make plans. It's so nice to just see like, it's not even a light at the end of the tunnel. It's like a freaking like the opening's huge at the end of the tunnel. Like we're so close to the finish line and, um, It's just good. It's all good things. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to end this video here. It's early in the day still, but if anything else comes up, I'll just start up a new vlog. I think I want to edit and upload this today because it's been a while since I posted. But, oh, also, I want to talk to you guys real quick about um, the YouTubers coming back. Do you guys... Like, I only watch YouTube. I, like, don't watch much TV at all. I watch a lot of YouTube. And Tati is back. Do you guys watch Tati? I've loved Tati for so long. But then I was kind of, like, off with the Tati train whenever all the drama. I was like, eh, I didn't really agree with everything she was doing or, like, a part of her. I don't really even remember what it was now. I'm like, oh, my God. But she's back. And now I love her again. I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm so happy she's back. And then, like, Shane Dawson is, like, kind of, like, creeping back into, like, I don't know. I've seen him in a few of Ryland's videos, and, like, he's on Instagram sometimes. And I know Shane Dawson is, like, not everyone's cup of tea, but I've always loved Shane. And then, like, David Dobrik, but I've, I don't watch David Dobrik. I've never watched him, so I don't really, it doesn't, it doesn't really affect me, but I heard he's back. So, even though Frenemies is over and done with, there's some new people back in the scene which is nice to see anyway i just wanted to if anyone else watches those people um yeah anyway that's it for me today you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye